Hi YouTube, and this is J Train 997, and I'm back this time with my review of the Captain America the First Avenger comic series Crossbones figure. Now this is a very nice looking figure here in the packaging, and um, just like I said in my Red Score review, took me long enough to find this guy. Um, he's only one a case, just like Red Skull, so very hard to come by. And he comes with three different, well, two of the same little submachine gun and then a rifle here in packaging. And it says, has three attachable weapons. Now, at first thought, I would think, oh, okay, well, surely they clip onto his vest in some way. But I actually think what they mean is he, they attach to his hand, which isn't a gimmick. That's what every figure does. There's no need to put that on a box. But I digress. On the back of the packaging here, it says, What Crossbones lacks in superpowers, he makes up in marksmanship and hand-to-hand -hand combat. As an instructor at a school for criminals, he's always, he's always got to have plenty of weapons and ammo on hand. His trio of explosive weapons almost makes him a match for Captain America himself. Down here, Red Skull, Winter Combat Cap, and the Super Combat Cap, or he's just the movie Captain America. So that being said, took me long enough to find this guy. Let's pull him out of packaging and see if he was worth the wait. And here we have Crossbones out of patching. Now, he's a nice looking figure. I'm more on that in a bit. I've got him holding his submachine gun in this hand and his rifle in this hand. And that's because it appears that the submachine guns won't fit in his right hand. At least not well. You can kind of put them in there like that. But his finger actually won't go through the trigger guard on them. Which is strange. Um, it will fit just fine on the rifle, which you put the rifle in this hand. And you can't quite get the finger to go through the trigger guard, although it does fit. It's simply too wide. You can see they've left the finger like a lot bigger than the rest of the hand to fit through the trigger guard on the smaller gun. So only one hand holds a submachine gun well, even though they give you two. And just like I thought, there is no clip-on weapons of any kind. They just simply attach to his hand and they don't even do that completely. So that's kind of a poor gimmick. Um, I'm also not crazy about the flat green they use for these guns. I mean, I guess they wanted didn't want to make them black so they wouldn't kind of stamp fade in with crossbones, but at the same time, I don't really care that the guns are fade in with a character or, you know, you can't really pick them out. I just don't like this flat green. I'll end up giving him G.I. Joe guns and probably fit much better too. But anyways, despite the fact that he can't hold his weapons very well, well, he can hold the rifle in one hand, the submachine, the, yeah, little gun in the other. That's just a small little nitpick because I have a whole box of G.I. Joe guns I can give him. Now, when I first started looking at this guy, I thought his vest looked familiar, so I went to my Marvel Legends display, and I brought in the Walmart exclusive crossbones, and it appears that they have just scaled down this guy's vest. Let's get front and back here. Yeah, that's just a scaled down vest. Which, interesting they did that. We'll put the bigger crossbones up here. Um, it's clearly tweaked from the back of the packaging because in the back of the packaging, you can see his neck easily and here it just looks like he has no neck. I'm being really hard on this figure, I know, but Crossbones is one of my favorite bad guys. I was expecting a lot. As far as articulation, his arms do a full 360. Got to here. Bend and spin at the elbow. Bend at the wrist. Um, head is pretty much stationary because of how the vest is raised up so high. Well, I take that back. You got a little bit of a 360 in there. You really got to force it. Legs go out. Don't appear to be going forward or very stiff. Spin at the quadricep. Double joint at the knee, and have an ankle joint. So a lot of nice articulation on crossbones. Um, so he's a very hard to find figure. Um, his sculpt is great. I like the fact that they um kind of scaled down the vest from the bigger crossbones figure. Um, the there is no gimmick. They try to make it look like there's one, but there's not. And these guns are just very bleh looking to me. I don't like the green paint, and I don't like the fact that you can't have him holding both his mum. Little guns are well, or holding his rifle in his other hand. So that's kind of irritating. At the same time, though, he's very difficult to find, but I think he is a solid figure. When you do find him, he's going to make your Captain America or Marvel Universe display look great. And that being said, this is J Train 997, and I'll see you soon, YouTube.